Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnesswonder.com and today I'm going to lead you through an upper body strength training workout. We've got exercises in groups of two and we'll be doing 10 reps a piece plus a burnout round at the, each, at the end of each one of those sets. All you're going to need for this is a set of dumbbells and I included a short cardio warm up as well as a cool down. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we'll start off with a nice light boxer shuffle. I'm gonna start off nice and light. I'm not gonna do anything too strenuous in the beginning here. We're just getting ready, getting those muscles ready and that range of motion that we'll be using the most during this routine. Make sure and take nice deep, nice deep breaths through this warm up. All right, now we're gonna go up overhead, nice and slow, and then back. Ventrally, and then pull back laterally. Nice and slow. It's kind of like a fluid stretch. Just push each point where you feel just a little bit of stretch at each of the end of the range of the motion. All right, stay up here. Now we're going to pull down. You can throw in a little bit of footwork if you want to here. Bump up your calorie burn a little bit. Otherwise, we're just mimicking the things we'll do during this routine without weights. It doesn't hurt to squeeze a little bit. You can start to feel this already, even this early in the routine without any weights at all. Pull up and then pull down and squeeze those shoulder blades together. All right, now we're gonna go down across in front of our body. So a row, same thing, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. All right, now we're gonna do just a basic arm swing in front of your body. So going back and forth, make sure you're switching which arm comes up over the other one each time. So make sure you're not doing the same exact motion each time. Want to keep things balanced and even. It's important with this kind of thing. If you do those, those really small things that don't seem important, if you do them over and over and over again, you create imbalances and strength and flexibility, and that's not a good thing. All right. I'm gonna step it up a notch and do some jumping jacks. And to start this up. So you can start off nice and slow. Um, it's more important at this point that we're doing range of motion. So instead of these baby jacks, you want your arms all the way straight. The full range of motion. Make sure you're still breathing. Pick up the pace a little as you're feeling warmer. All right, our last one, we're gonna do fly jacks. So just like a jumping jack, we're gonna bring our arms out in front of our body. So here and out. Make sure you're still breathing, you're not holding your breath. This is the last bit of cardio that we'll do during this right now. Couple more. All right, there we go, grab your weights. We'll move into the strength training. So our first superset is going to be a hammer curl and a bent over tricep extension. So for those hammer curls, I'm gonna be doing 12 pounds for my first set. I'm gonna be telling you what I'm lifting throughout this routine. It's in no way a suggestion of what you should lift, but it makes for a good reference point. So listen to your body when it comes to picking the right weight. We're gonna be holding our weights by our sides, palms turned in towards your body. Keep your elbows pinned to your sides and curl up. Remember, we're doing 10, sec uh, 10 reps of each of these, and we're doing two sets of each. Here's five, six, two more. Make sure you're staying up nice and straight and you're not using a swinging motion to complete this movement. All right, that's our last one. I'm gonna drop my weights a little bit for this bent over tricep extension. I'm gonna grab nine pounds for this. All right, so hold your weights at your sides. Sink down into just a little bit of a squat. Lean forward, keep your back flat. We're gonna pull your Elbows up so they're pinned toward your sides, and then extend from there. Exhale. 
exhale as you extend. There's our halfway point. Just two more. Get the last one. Ooh, all right. We're going back into that hammer pill. Okay. So this is where we're adding on the burnout round. So at the end of these reps, we're going to pulse at the most painful part of the motion, okay? So here we go, 10 reps. Squeeze up, sit up nice and tall, pull in your core, pay attention to your form. This is an exercise that's really easy to cheat on. There's four. Inhale on the way down, exhale, doing that hard part of the exercise while you're curling upwards. Three more. All right, here's our last one. All right, so right here, right in the middle, we're going to pulse until we're near tears. Just keep going. <laughs> uh, this should burn pretty good already because we've already done two sets. And we're at 10 reps, so it's really important with these pulses that you're staying in control of your body the whole time. It shouldn't be jerky, and you shouldn't be flailing. Just nice and smooth. This is really starting to hurt. Make sure you're still standing up straight. And let it relax. All right, that I'm going to feel tomorrow for sure. I'm actually going to lower my weights for this next round of tricep extensions because I can feel my... Four, so be close together, bend into that squat, make sure you're squeezing your glutes, you should feel this in your thighs as well, there's no reason you can't turn this into a total body exercise. Lean forward, pull your shoulder blades together, and extend. There's our halfway point. Really squeeze at the end of that range of motion. There's number eight. Last two. Get ready for those pulses. Here's our last one. Now stop in that middle range and then pulse upwards. Extend. This is a really small range of motion, only just a few inches here, but it should burn like crazy. Remember to keep your back flat. A few more. Hold it if you can. Oh, all right. Let <laughs> it relax. There we go. Good job, guys. Get ready for your next set. For our next group, we have reverse flies and chest press. So for the reverse fly, I'm going to grab six pounds in each hand. This is a really kind of strange range of motion. You're going to find that you probably need to grab a lighter weight. So we're going to stand on the feet shoulder width apart, bend over at the waist, back flat. And you're going to bring your arms up straight out to your sides, pinching those shoulder blades together. Try to make sure that you are using the same speed on the way up as you are on the way down. You really don't want to be throwing that weight. You're only cheating yourself if you do that. All right, that's our halfway point. Highlight, that's seven. Two more. All right, now we're doing a chest press, so you're likely going to need a weight that's quite a lot heavier for this. I'm gonna go for 18 pounds on this first set, 18 pounds per hand. So grab your weight, and we'll move down to the mat. All right, I'm gonna press up into a bridge. Might as well work your glutes while you're at it, and it gives you a little bit of extra leverage. So we're doing a chest fly, so palms in, Bring your arms out, just a slight bend in your elbow. Keep those hips up if you're doing the bridge. And 
inhale on the way down. Exhale as you press back up. That's our halfway point. Here's number eight. Nine, and if you're not struggling by this point, you know you need to lift heavier on your next round. Here's our last rep. Push it back up there. All right. You get back up. Move to that reverse fly. I'm gonna go even lighter this time because I know I have pulses coming at the end of this one. So three pounds per hand, and I'm probably still going to feel it, to be honest. So bend over, back flat, bring those arms back. Exhale as you bring them up, inhale as you come back down. There's six. Two more. All right, get ready for those pulses. So come down just a little bit and we're hovering right here. Remember, this is a really small range of motion. It's important that you practice control over your body. No swinging. Woo, this burns. This should burn like crazy. If it's not, check your form. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath, even during your pulses. Let's give it a few more seconds. Ooh. And I'm gonna relax, okay. So this time we're gonna go for 15 pounds on the chest press per hand. into your heels, to your core and your butt are off the ground. Arms up and start. Here's our halfway point. Bring your arms just slightly bent right here, and we're gonna just do a fly pulse. So you should feel this all through your arms, through your chest, and if you're pushing up into that bridge, you should also feel it all through your core and through those glutes as well. Keep it here as long as you can. Keep breathing. All right, and let it relax. Right. Good job. Take a quick break if you need to, and we'll move right into the next set. We're moving right into an overhead press plus a dumbbell pullover. So I'm going to be using 12 pounds for this first set of my overhead presses. But probably we'll switch down as I get tired. So half those weights up to your shoulders, and we're just pressing straight above our heads. Keep a nice straight spine, standing up nice and tall. Exhaling as you push up. So breathe in on the way down, and then use that forced exhale as you go back up. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall that you don't start to hunch as you get tired here. If your form starts to suffer, you can always drop your weight. Just two more. Try to pull your belly in, squeeze your glutes if you can. Keep your entire body tight. Oh. All right, there we go. 
right, drop one of those weights and grab the right amount of weight for a dumbbell pullover. I'm gonna stick with 12 pounds for both hands here to share the weight. So again, you can press up into a bridge if you wanna get in a little extra glute and thigh work, which is always a good idea. So holding that weight straight over your chest, it's never gonna come in past here. So drop above your head, inhale on the way down, exhale as you bring it back up over your chest. This is another one. Make sure you're using the same speed all the way through. You never want to cheat through part of it. All right. Here's our halfway point. Make sure you're not coming in any more than right here. If you do, you're actually making it easier. Two more. Here's the last one. All right, go back to the overhead press. I'm gonna lower my weight on this one to nine pounds per hand. All right, this is the round with the pulses, so be ready. Here we go. Up over your head, exhale as you push up. Inhale as you come back down. Here's five. Two more. All right, here's our last one. And we're gonna do a really goofy looking but effective pulse right here. So come back down, push back up. So you're not going all the way straight and you're definitely not coming all the way back down. You're keeping it in naturally the most uncomfortable position possible. Like you say right here, keep it up there if you can. My arms are starting to droop. Do your best. A few more seconds. Oh, all right, let it relax. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this lighter weight for this next round of dumbbell pullovers. So, I'm using nine pounds between the two of my hands. Remember to press up end of this bridge if you like. Take a deep breath. Start it up. There's one. There's our halfway point. Shaky arms by this point. Two more. All right, now take your arms. The further you go towards the ground, the harder it's going to be. So if you want to, start with those pulses nice and low. And as you start to get tired, you can bring them up over your head again. Keep it down as low as you can for as long as you can. As long as you're in control of the motion, you're good to go. Remember to breathe. This is our last one, so stick with it, and then we move into our cool down and stretch. Give it everything you've got. Hold on if you can. A few more seconds. Ooh, and bring that weight back up and let it relax. All right, good job, guys. All we have left is our cool down and stretch. All right, now we're on to our well deserved cool down and stretch. So we're gonna start off with some arm circles. We're going big here, forward, and then back. Take your time with this, there's no rush. Just be sure to push so you feel a little bit of a stretch all the way through the entire circle, both directions. Should feel good. 
stretching out those muscles we just used. Make sure to take nice deep breaths while you're doing this. All right, let's go back and forth, the arm swings in front. Again, remember to switch which one's on top each time you swing in front of your body. Make sure you drink lots of water after this. You should eat at least a snack, but preferably meal as soon as you can after your workout. Your upper body will probably be sore tomorrow, which is a good thing. It's a good opportunity to work your lower body or even take a rest day. All right, now I'm gonna stop. Put your hand over your head, grab this elbow, and pull behind your head so you feel a nice stretch through this tricep. You can lean away from yourself a little bit and get a stretch through that torso as well. All right, switch hands. Come up and hold it here. All right, come nice and slow to the center here. I'm gonna go down in a wide hamstring stretch, but I want you to clasp your hands behind your back and let your arms, let yourself roll forward so you get a nice shoulder stretch through this too. Just move around a little bit, see where you might need to stretch the most. You're always gonna feel some hot spots when you do stretches like this. Just use gentle movements and don't force anything. All right, come back up nice and slow. I'm gonna grab your arm and pull it across your chest here. You should feel this through the back of your arm as well as your shoulder. All right, swing them out, stretch, and switch sides. Right, now we're going to walk out into a downward dog. So if you have a mat or a soft surface, you're going to want to move to that. Walk down nice and slow. Try to keep your heels as flat on the ground as you can. It's okay if you can't get them just quite flat. But just do your best. And then try to press your head down in between those shoulders. Breathe here for a couple deep breaths. Walk back and forth a little. This is a good stretch for your hamstrings as well and those calves. A couple more seconds here and we'll walk down into a cobra stretch. All right, nice and slow. Keep your core pulled in tight. Lower yourself to the mat. Hands by your ribs, press up into a cobra. Only go as far as you can in this one without any pain at all. Take some nice deep breaths. Almost done here. Have one more stretch. All right, go ahead and press back slowly into a child's pose. This feels great all through that upper back your lower back and your shoulders. Take some deep breaths. And let it relax. All right, good job guys. This workout is complete.